Minister, uh, Fine Gael has now been in power for more than 12 years. And in this time, we've seen government make decision after decision that has escalated the housing crisis into a full-blown emergency. Rents are out of control. A whole generation is locked out of home ownership. And homelessness has reached a record level that we could only have imagined. This is the dire situation seven years after you, as Housing Minister, said that government would end homelessness. And you failed because even with a significant recovery in public finances, government refused to provide the necessary investment in housing. Instead of building homes, Fine Gael pushed thousands of people into the private rental market. That's what's brought us to where we are today. The problem then, then and now isn't public finances, but the attitude of government. The government is the problem. The housing insecurity that renters live with every day is highlighted by the colossal increase in numbers now ca contacting housing charity Threshold. And in lifting the eviction ban without any protections in place, your government has chosen to make the fear of losing your home a reality for thousands of renters. People who work hard, people who pay their rent, people who do everything to build a decent life. They are now being robbed of the roof over their head, not through any fault of their own, but by way of a cruel government decision. Eviction notices are landing every day and the government has no plan, no safety net and no intention other than to dig in. Yesterday, I put four stories, st stories of those facing eviction to Antishuk. We've received countless more, but I want you to hear, Minister, what these people have to say. Eamon writes, my son, his wife and their three children are to be evicted in June. They have nowhere to go. My son works very hard, but he can't afford to buy a house. It is shocking what's happening to hardworking people in this country. Margaret says, my daughter has two kids. She's received her eviction notice. She has to be out on the day of her baby's first birthday. They can't find another place. What are they going to do? Cullum tells us, my landlord has already mentioned that her nephew needs the house that we're in. I am waiting in fear of an eviction notice. The street is the only place left. And Rebecca says, we lost the home we rented for 13 years to a no-fault eviction. It was the most frightening, most humiliating experience of our lives. I know exactly how other families are now feeling. And I could go on, Minister, we could be here until tomorrow. That's the reality of what people are going through. Minister, these families, like so many others, have now run out of housing options. Rented accommodation can't be got for love nor money. The emergency accommodation is maxed out in many areas. People wait years for social housing. So where are they meant to go, Minister? We've asked the Taoiseach, We've asked the Taunish, though we've asked the Minister for Housing, and none of them have given a credible answer. So can you, Minister, answer that question today? Thank you, Deputy. Minister Colvin, please. Deputy, thanks for raising uh, housing again, as you do most weeks. Um, and can I say that uh, the government is more than aware of the pressures uh, on many families across the country. Uh, we made a decision uh, that extending the ban on evictions would make the problem worse, not better. Uh, and I believe that was the right decision to make. Uh, and we are putting billions of euros uh, into ensuring that we provide the housing supply that's needed uh, for families um, that need to find uh, sustainable, secure accommodation, whether that's to purchase affordably uh, or whether it's to rent. Uh, last year, uh, uh, the country built almost 30,000 houses. That was an increase of 45% on the previous year. Uh, last year, uh, we provided social houses uh, for over 10,000 people. That was a significant increase also on the year before. And this year, we're going to do better again. So I'm not, I'm not suggesting uh, that the pace of delivery of social houses, affordable houses, 
cost rental accommodation is happening at a fast enough pace right now, but it is accelerating all of the time. And that is the answer, Deputy, to the question. We need more supply. And, you know, when you, when you raise these questions week after week, I think I'm entitled to raise your credibility and your party's credibility in relation to delivery of all types of housing tenure. If you look at Northern Ireland, you've had the last two housing ministers there. Do you know how many social houses were actually built and completed last year in Northern Ireland? Less than 900. In this jurisdiction, Deputy, it was almost 8,000 in terms of new social houses being delivered. When I became housing minister uh, uh, a number of years ago, local authorities in the previous year had built less than 100 new social houses. And now we're seeing 7,500 to 8,000, and uh, we will deliver significantly more than that this year. So this, this is a complex and difficult challenge. I know that there are many uh, households that are worried and are concerned, and there are far too many people homeless in this country. Uh, but we are responding by increasing supply, which is the answer. And you could help, Deputy by preventing your councillors across the country from actually opposing and frustrating developments. And, and you could also be a bit more honest in terms of your own party's performance when you've been in government and, and have ha has housing ministries. In Northern Ireland, do you know that figure of less than 900 last year? That's a decrease on the previous year of 36%. In terms of, of starts in terms of build last year, uh, it was just over, just over 1,700. That's a decrease of 29%. So in Northern Ireland, where you have some sway, you are seeing a reduction of about 30% in the delivery of social housing year on year, while we in this jurisdiction are seeing an increase in housing delivery of about 45% year on year. So, Deputy, you might take a look at your own performance before you start lecturing this side of the House on housing delivery. Do as I say, not as I do. So, of course, the critical distinction between here and the north is that here, public finance isn't the issue. There it is. There the block grant and the Tories are an issue. Ken Corla, we, I don't have the space to elaborate beyond that. You have been in government now 12 years. You, Minister, have sat at the Cabinet table, if I'm correct, for the entirety of that time. When you were housing minister, there were 5,000 souls, God help them, homeless. There's now 12,000. We have record house prices. We have record extortionate rent. We have a government that brags of its largesse and the billions that are coming into the Exchequer. And we have an entire generation that cannot put a roof over their heads. That's on you. That is on you. Now, you say that you have everything sorted. I want to know, I, I told you about Eamon, his son and their three children. I've told you about Margaret, her daughter, and their two kids. I've told you about Cullum. And these are real people who have nowhere you, to go. Unless I'm mistaken and you actually have an answer to that. So I put it to you again, for families now that will face eviction, where Minister Coveney, do they go? Thank you, Minister Coveney. Deputy, uh, we have, uh, along with the decisions of the last number of months, made a decision to increase the number of social housing acquisitions by 1,500 in th this year, an additional 1,000 homes through targeted leasing initiatives this year and next. We've amended the capital uh, advanced leasing facility used by approved housing bodies so, so they can provide more homes faster. And there's a long list uh, after that. But when you talk about a generation that can't put a roof over their heads, Deputy, yesterday you introduced a motion into this House to scrap the First Time Buyers Grant, which has provided 38,000 young families with the ability to actually get on the housing ladder, because we're a government that actually believes in home ownership, whereas you're a government, uh, you want to be in a government that wants to continue to, uh, um, that wants you to continue to focus solely on one kind of tenure, which is social housing. We believe in both. We believe in both. We believe that people who want to buy their own homes need a leg up from the state to do that. You don't believe in that. Uh, we believe in affordable housing, we believe in cost Minister, rental, Minister, uh, and we believe also in social housing. And we added over 10,000 
to the social housing uh, stock last year, Thank Deputy, you, unlike your performance in Northern Ireland.